Shalawan. It's your brother Malcolm. Coming to you with another lesson in truth. Giving all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Basham Shai. And double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which are the true leaders of all Israel on earth today, set up by Yahweh Basham Shai, whom I worship. All right? Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai of His only begotten Son, our Lord, our King, and our Savior. Salutations to the Akim out there that are doing this work in truth and sincerity, all right? Risking their lives and their freedom to do so. And the confusion of face Akim that have joined unto us that do likewise, all right? And to the few Akwath that are listening to and learning, to you I say Shalom. It's not going to be a long lesson, just something to uh, to comment on current events and, you know, and prophecies in the Bible that the end is manifest, all right? The nations are gathering into the Valley of Jehoshaphat, all right? They started gathering um, after the, the false pretenses of 9-11 were used to go into that land, but the Lord set it all up, man. And uh, there's no prophecy in the Bible that says that the armies of the earth are going to go into the Valley of Jehoshaphat, leave, and then come back again. So the end is going to, to manifest itself um, and it's happening right now. And this thing that, uh, that Trump decided to do um, by moving the, uh, the capital of, of uh, Israel, of the, of the Israelis, to, to uh, Jerusalem is really getting the, uh, the dragons of Arabia, which is prophesied in the Bible, is making them come together. Including the ones who were, uh, who were not, you know, getting along so well. There, there is becoming an Arab thing, and Arabs are, you know, is, is ma made up of uh, a bunch of mixed multitudes, but a lot of Ishmaelites, you know, and a couple other different groups that are, that are mixed in there. You know, the uh, the Persians, some, some, they're 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 mixed in there as well. Uh, that would be the uh, the Iranians, but we're gonna touch on that. Okay, that we're gonna touch on that, but. Uh, that this this action has basically sparked riots worldwide, man. All right, you you know there were protests all throughout America, all throughout Europe, um, violent clashes in some places, you know, um, all throughout North Africa, and of course all throughout the Middle East, and uh, to the point where and then something happened in Tel Aviv, which they're not really talking about, but there was a military in, uh, base. In Tel Aviv, on fire, and it wasn't like a uh, a normal fire. The fire were were spread out, and it, it almost looked like like the base got bombed. Um, I haven't heard anything else about it, so I don't know. You know, I'm just speculating. But uh, being former military myself, and then watching the news the way I've been watching it, that wasn't a local fire to like one building or you know or a bunker blew up or something like that. That was a fire that was spread out. Almost, it looked as if something had been carpet bombed. You know, it didn't. It didn't look normal, man. So I don't know what happened. They're not talking about it. You know, uh, they don't like to broadcast their L's when they, you know, when they lose. They always want to broadcast when they're controlled and that whole sort of thing. But uh, let's get into the scriptures, man. This is uh First Corinthians. Um. 15 and starting at uh, 24 and it reads then cometh the end when he shall have delivered up the kingdom of power even the father when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power so every government on the face of the earth America especially the Israelis the Japanese the Russians everybody has to be brought down in order for the Lord to rule hence the reason why they're trying to bring in a new world order because they are against and, and that rulership places the Israelites in control over the earth, something that these churches uh, negate to teach. They either don't know it or they purposely don't teach it. All right. And that's your governing body that's mentioned in Revelation, the seventh chapter. Twelve thousand men from each of the twelve tribes of Israel, making up Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. And these Edomites and these heathens do not want to submit to that rule. That's why the Lord is going to beat them to powder and force them down as I read it. For he must reign till he have put all enemies under his feet. 
the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death because the the that elect man that I just spoke of are going to have supernatural powers. That's why these Edomites love making movies about superheroes, X-Men and Superman and all that sort of thing. You know, they like making movies like that. You know, what was that movie? Immortals. They like making movies like that and glorifying themselves. But the truth of the matter is they're going to be victims of power like that, because that's the only way that the men of the Lord are going to be able to defend themselves against the war machine, which is the beast, which is American NATO, its armies, man. Tanks and all the special weapons, the missiles and the drones. You're not going to be able to, uh, in the flesh, uh, fight that sort of thing because, you know, you, all you have to do is look at the sports world, the combat sports world especially, and see that Jacob dominates, man. Anything that, that Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans get involved in, they dominate physically, okay? But, you know, you can't fight against a... Uh, uh, the, you could be the best warrior on the planet. You can't fight against a sniper rifle that's a mile away that you can't even see. This is this this aiming at you, you know. And that's the way Esau gets down. He measures his strength by his equipment, by what his equipment is able to do, and not he himself. All right, kind of like uh, auto racing. You know, they have no real power. The machine does all the work. That sort of thing. Uh, verse twenty-seven. For he hath put all things under his feet, but when he hath but when he saith all things are put under his feet, it is manifest that he is except which did put all things under him. And, and when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him. The power may be in us all because there's an order of thing, man. The order is Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, King David, the apostles. And the, the 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 prophets, and then the rest of the hundred and forty-four thousand. That's the that's the setup. That's your new world government. It's all you so-called Christians, okay? Because uh, Pastor Gino Jennings and James, Doctor James White, the Edomite, and No Class Malone, you know all these false prophets, you know, uh, Sa Sa Sarnetta, uh, Brother No Light. You know, it's funny. I just watched a video. Now he's defending the Hebrews. You know, Sarnetta's walking around with uh, Hebrew paraphernalia now because that's the new moneymaker. So now they join to jump on, on, on board. Disgusting. All right. Next scripture is. Uh, First Timothy four and one. Now the spirit speak of expressly. That the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seduce the spirits and doctrines of devils. All right. And you got, you know, brothers doing that, changing the breakdowns, uh, clear breakdowns that have precepts to back them up to things which have no precepts. Remember, if it's not precept upon precept, if it's not according to this word, Isaiah 8 and 20, then it is not true. All right. You know, that's like that John 3, 16, uh, uh misinterpretation that God so loved the world and not understanding that each one of the nations is referred to as a world. They leave that very important detail out. All right. And try to include everybody in that. That's that universalism. That's Catholicism. That's one world orderism, so to speak. That's that new world order garbage. All right. Trying to bring everybody together, put place themselves on top and stop the Lord's plan of the Israel's rule, Israelites ruling over the earth from going into to, to effect. But that's not going to happen. Next scripture. Second Timothy uh, three verses one. And it reads. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. And hey, there was a missile uh, just just saw in, in the uh, headlines that, that they just fired a, a, a airstrike into uh, Gaza and killed two man. Any excuse to kill them Palestinians, them Israelis, man. They don't care. They can do all all type of damage. All right. But they but, you know, but they 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 feel like they have the right to take something that's not theirs. And then the whole world knows that the, that they're fake Jews, man. The whole world knows that they're converts. All right. But you have to remember, they own the media and they also control what goes into the uh, into the books. You got JPS, you know, the uh, Jewish Publication Society. They control they got control over the books, what goes into the school. So they'll try to stop blurting out the Holocaust, this, the Holocaust, that. Look, man, there was 80 other million people died. Way more than 6 million, man. All right, 80 other million people died during World War II. 
Okay? 80 more million people. What about them, man? All right? And, and, and Hitler was Jewish himself. That's a fact. Just research his family line, mother and father. All right? He was Jewish himself. They never liked to bring that out or talk about that. And he was constantly getting on his people about worshiping that, that Swartz religion, that black religion, because he knew that the Israelites was a dark race of people and, it, and, the, the, and his people converted and started following that Swartz religion. Okay? He was constantly telling them about that. All right? So all that was was Edomite on Edomite crime, man. That was just war. People died during war. That didn't fulfill any biblical prophecies and none of that. All right. The prophecy was that the Israelites were going to into uh, into ships naked and in chains and get scattered to the four corners of the four corners of the earth. And there are no relics or any history or any documentation of the Israelis being naked and in chains and being sold to the four corners of the earth by way of of a uh, of ship trade that only happened to so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. And there's records and evidence and relics of, of these said acts. And when you and then when you talking about the transatlantic slave trade, when you go and do your diligent research, you find that the majority of the ships were owned by Jewish traders, man. The Jewish people, the converts financed the slave trade. And that's just fact. Ugly, nasty fact that they don't want to face up to. Right. Uh, going back into Second Timothy, the third chapter, starting at verse two. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, uh, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. And we have cases of that right here in Chicago and around the world. Uh, people who are who were once a part of the body. Well, they were never really a part of the body, man. The Lord only brought them in to cast them away and to be examples of what of the thus said scriptures that I just read. Somebody had to fulfill this scripture. All right. And for you brothers who are in the faith, just be thankful that it's not you or that it doesn't become you. You need to pray that continually, man, that you be not cast away, that the Lord take not his spirit away from you, man. Okay. Last and final scripture. This is a uh, second Ezra. The 15th chapter, starting at verse uh, 28, because we are witnessing this happen. All right. It said, behold, an horrible vision and appearance thereof from the east. And the east is, is literally on fire and it's just getting started, man. Because the scripture said, what what shall it be when he arrived and it already be kindled? The fire is already kindled on earth, man. That means it's already going to be wars and, and, and fights and things going on when the Lord comes back. And then he's going to come back and add to it, man. Verse 29, where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots and the multitude of them be carried as the wind upon the earth that that all that they which hear them may fear and tremble, man. And 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 the Arab nations, you know, the, the Hamite, Ishmaelite, uh, 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 Iranian, and, and, I'm, and I'm calling them Arabs, uh, Mainly because Arab just means mongrel and they're all mixed together worshiping the the, the uh, is Islamic religion is why I'm saying that. OK, but uh, those are the, the main people in that part of the North Africa and the Middle East. Uh, uh, those are the people who follow the Islamic uh, um, way of life. And those people are raising up and starting to, uh, you know, look past their differences to come up against Esau, man. That's what's happening. All right. And all throughout Europe, man. Hell, man. Matter of fact, you know, this is so, so many white women are being impregnated by brown men in, 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 in Sweden, man. The uh, white people are going to so-called going to disappear a lot faster than what they have projected, man. All right. They're changing the face of, uh, uh, of Europe again because, hey, Europe started off brown. Now it's returning back to brown. You know, don't believe the hype. That is not the home of so-called white people. So-called white people came from Mount Seir, from Edom which is uh, just south of Israel. That's their original home. Those are the caves they originally came from. Okay. <clears throat> Verse 29 again, where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots and the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon the earth that they, that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. Also the Carmenians, that's the Iranians, man. All right. Raging, raging, and wrath shall go forth as wild boars of the wood, 
and with great power shall they come and join the battle with them and shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. That was just an airstrike, in, in, you know, in, in Assyria. And now, you know, Israel is right there next to it, man. And all of a sudden there's a, 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 a military base in Tel Aviv burning, man. So I'm thinking that, you know, I don't know. I'm not saying that this this to be fact. This is just me guessing. But I think it was the Iranians that struck back, man. After they got after their place was hit in uh in Syria. Uh, verse thirty again. Also, the Carmenians raging in wrath shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood. And wild boar, boars are dangerous animals, man. They're wild pigs with horns, and they will attack and kill you and eat you, man. Okay, because pigs eat anything, dead, rotten flesh, anything. Pigs were never meant for human consumption. By the way, that's that's the doing of the Edomite, man. You know, basically, they're like a giant rat. They're they're filthy animals, man. It was never meant for human consumption. All right. And join the battle with them and shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. And that that and that's in the Valley of Jehoshaphat, man. It's about to go down. Thirty one. Then shall the dragons have the upper hand, remembering their nature. And if they shall turn themselves conspiring together in great power to persecute them, to persecute who? The so-called white man. All right. So. This thing, World War III, is literally knocking on the door. You got all kind of problems, financial problems, all kind of bubbles that are about to burst. You know, uh, they're talking about the extension of this this uh, retail apocalypse is going to continue. You have American officials that are in trouble lawfully. I've seen the the video images, and it looks that uh, that John McCain and Hillary Clinton, Hitlery Clinton are wearing bracelets on their feet, all right? Like they have GPS monitors on them or something. And uh, and an Ishmaelite woman that I know who I really think is Jake, we had a conversation just the other day, and she said J uh, war is what they want because war is going to protect a lot of these warmongers um, from jail because they're being called out on all this stuff that they've done over the last, like, 10-plus years, man. And a lot of them are in trouble now. Hence the reason why Hillary Clinton is wearing this this thing on it. You you can clearly see it's something under her her pant leg that looks like a GPS monitor, and the same thing with John McCain. All right, so war will clear up a lot of things. It also is going to hide the crash of the dollar because the dollar is no longer important in being used on a world scale. The nations of the world are now using a Japanese, I mean a Chinese uh back back currency and the and the and the uh and the uh the Russian back currency. All right. That's what they're using now, which we're going to see prices skyrocket and hyperinflation in America over the, over the next upcoming weeks and months, man. So this is it. So with that, I hope this was an edifying lesson. All right. All praises going on to be unto you. How about Shalom? And Shalom.